welcome back to Farming Simulator and today we're going to have a look at using Proceed and Courseplay together to semi-automate creating tram lines in fields. Now this is not perfect, this does require you to babysit things a little bit at the start but this is a method that I have found to produce reasonable tram lines with course play um, so this came about from me talking about using it in the past using course play and proceed together in the past um, but not actually having a video on how I did it so this is that video I'll put up on the screen now the results that I got in testing with the method I am going to use and we'll get to those hopefully similar results at the end um, but obviously one of the rules of farm sim tutorials is never work with course play and things like that somewhat live this is obviously not live but you, you get what I mean so we are on Obeleron we have a relatively square field this will give you better results if you've got a field which has a slightly curved border you will get slightly less good results um, if you want really good results with Proceed, you've got to do it manually. Um, or you've got to drive, not necessarily manually. Um, this is not a full tutorial on Proceed. I have one of those. I will try to remember to put it in the corner of the screen so that you can access that if you need to. Um, okay, let's get started. So the other thing is this is only going to work properly when you are doing tram lines on odd multiples of the working width okay so there are some limitations but it's a way of doing it so what we're going to do is we are going to get in the field we're going to create a course play course and this is the bit where actually we're going to set up proceed first because this is the bit where you need to think about how you can do things so I am going to run and you will need to run in semi-automatic mode or semi-automatic depending on where you're from um, and then we need to decide how many tracks we're going to do for our tram line so I've got a six meter cedar so we are going to want to do 18 or 30 meters i'm going to do 18 so you see a few more tram lines we need to do odd multiple so you could do one probably not worth it um so the first odd multiple is an 18 meter tram line so that gets you three tracks and then the next one is 30. i'm going to do them on 18 meters um and the reason that you need to work that out first is what you're going to do is you are going to stop your headland passes in course play on the row that will have the headland tram line in it so in this case we will do two headlands normally if i was doing this myself i would do three but to get it to work with the course play you want to do two if we were going to be doing 30 meter tram lines so five tracks you would want to stop it at three which is the point where it would put in the tram line okay this will not work well with even multiples so i'm not going to talk about them so if we were on 30 meter tram lines so five rows per tram line we would want to do three headlands if we are on 18 meter we want to do two headlands and what we're doing is we are stopping the headland passes at the point we apply the tram line so let's go into course play um we've got our standard course play window we have one tool this will not work well with multiple tools i am not even going to attempt to try that for you so two headlands as i said we're going to start on the headland pass we're going to do smooth corners we're going to leave the overlap the same field center we're going to do up down automatic direction and see what kind of course we get okay so it's pretty standard looking course if we jump out and we bring up the display so this actually is a really good example of the problem i encountered and we will work through it as we go 
you will see the second headland, can I get, I can get cursor off the screen. So the second headland is gonna run along here and put a tram line here. And then the first pass that the cedar is gonna run is gonna come down here and obliterate that tram line. And that's where I said that this is a semi-automated process. We are gonna to have to look after the tractor as it does the headlands and this first pass. Beyond that, it'll just run on course play. So the other important thing is for your headlands, you need to do smooth turns because with proceed being in semi-automatic mode, each time the cedar is raised and then lowered, it increments the track number and that will screw up on your headlands how I'm going to show you to apply tram lines. So number of headlands is stopping at the headland pass where you are applying the tram line and you have to do smooth corners because otherwise that is going to mess up the track count whilst doing the headland. Okay, we are nearly ready to start. And yes, I'm six minutes in before we've got a tractor moving. So the tractor is running. I need to put seed in the tractor. That would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? So let's... Uh, I do have easy, easy dev tools installed, I believe. There we go. So we're going to make sure we have the... So th this cedar is from the horse pack. I really like it. We're going to fill it with seed. We're going to go on to canola because we can plant that at this time of year. I'm going to back up a tiny bit. So we want to be on first waypoint and we need to come over to proceed and we need to click through to be on track three because when the cedar is lowered, it will increment back to track one. So, and we want this first headland to be on track one. So, Last points before I hit go. We want to be on first waypoint and you need to be on the last track over here. So if you're doing five, you would be on track five. If you're doing seven, you'd be on track seven, etc. Okay, we are on semi-automatic mode just to confirm that. And we are on, for this example, 18 meters or three tracks per tram line. So I'm going to hit go and you will see that we've now gone to track one. We are seeding. We are not applying a tram line. Um, it's going to take us about 12 minutes to do this field. I might cut out some of the middle of that for you guys. I'll see if I run out of things to talk about. Whilst we wait for this first headland, I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel and also people that comment on the videos because this idea came from a comment on a Let's Play video. So, you know, those people are important as well. And so we're going to run around this first headland. When we get to the end of the first headland, we are going to need to increment the track number by clicking on the plus sign over here. Because we are doing smooth headlands, the cedar is not going to be raised until the tractor gets to the end of this process. So we're just going to let it run around. Once it gets to... This is down to you to to time it how you see fit to make it look nice-ish, I guess. It's not so it's not gonna be perfect, it's gonna look okay. Alright. As we come along here, I'm gonna hit it as we turn, and that will sort of give us a tram line that's near the entrance to the field. So if I hit it now, you'll see we've got the two red markers have come up. If I move the course play box, you'll see we've got it here. And we're getting tram lines that come in now. And this is what I was saying about if we just let course play run, you will see that when we ran along the first up down row, we would obliterate most of this tram line. You could choose to have the tram line put on the up down row. That's an option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip that row. Um, and then we'll just come back and fill that in at the end. So we will get a little bit of a mismatch between the width of a couple of the tram lines, but you know, you have to accept compromises when you're trying to automate something which is really, in my mind, not designed to be automated. So as we come up to the end of the pass, 
Um, I would leave it as it is until it picks up the cedar. So you're going to lose. You're going to get some sort of mush in the corner where you pass over where you have originally worked. So, um, but in 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 the kind of the spirit of doing as little intervention as possible, I'm just going to let it do its thing. There it is. So right, we're now going to if so i'm going to stop it here if your course play course was set up to look fine so if this first up down track this one was far enough over that it wouldn't affect your first tram line just let it run you might have to keep an eye on the problem for the problem the other side of the field for us the problem starts at the beginning so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down here now to the start of the second up down row. So come around here. We'll be about here. Uh, get reasonably well so you're not going to affect the um, tram line. We're going to go to ne nearest waypoint. Try and get yourself so you're actually on the track. So I'm just going to shuffle a little bit. Um, and then we are going to hit go. The cedar will go on to row three. So there is no tram line here. And what we're going to have to do is just come back and fill in this little gap. Um, and I say that little gap will be the difference of what's going to be kind of missed. If, if you came in with an 18 meter sprayer or spurt spreader, you would miss that little gap. But, you know, you've got to work with these things. So... As so you can see, we've lifted the cedar up. Just something that I should have mentioned is that we are on raise early, lower, late. Those are the default settings, but do not change them. If you change them, you will start to mess up your inner tram line. You'll see it drops it just, just where it needs to. So we'll let it finish row one, and then we'll see it putting in the first tram line on track two. Um, and this will give you a feel for what it's going to look like. Once it's done, I'll skip ahead a month so we can see it with a growth state in. But you'll see it's lifted up there. It's pretty much left the tram line intact on the headland. That's why if you went raised late, it would go through that tram line. That's why we're raising early and then we're lowering late because otherwise it would destroy it this pass. So, and the really nice thing is if we watch closely, You'll see as it lowers and course plate is pretty much in the way. There we go. With with the way that um, so proceed drops the tram line just behind the implement, and with the way that works, it actually drops it far enough back that it's connecting to the outer tram line. Um, that doesn't work on this end. So you can see as it lifts up, it will lift up here, and there is a little bit of a gap. If I can get my cursor to let me move you can see there's a tiny gap there we, we will go back and look at this when things aren't moving um but that's pretty much it you can now i can now just leave this to run um so what i've seen as i've done this testing is that you will get at everything i've seen is at the start but you'll get it so that one side of the up down rows is squashed and you'll just need to make a call yourself as to whether you want to let it go or um whether you want to intervene and so i intervened at the start this now should work out perfectly fine at the end and yes i did ignore the let it go elsa dad joke i feel very ashamed i apologize to all of you out there who are waiting for the dad joke to kick in so we'll see it here again. No, we won't because we're on a row one, but you can see it's not damaging the out tram line. And you can see quite nicely how it's connected that first one in. Um, when I skip a growth state, you'll see it much clearer. Um, it really does highlight how well course play is doing at this. And you will have seen the example I put up at the start. So. And we'll see it here as, as the tractor comes around. Actually, if I turn off the overlay um we should get a pretty good view of this now so it's going to come around it's going to line up it's going to 
you'll see as it drops the cedar down, the tram line falls just behind it. There we go, and off it goes. And it's done a pretty good job. Um, other things that you should not do. Skip rows. If you put skip rows on, this isn't going to work. It's going to get incredibly confused. Um, I did have a look at trying to use automatic mode with guidance steering active but that won't work on the headlands and I wanted to give a version that would work completely so you can have guidance steering installed on this we just have to work in semi-automatic mode which is based off of raising and lowering the cedar so and that's why we have to have as I said smooth corners on the headland because otherwise it would raise and lower the cedar in every corner and that would screw up things We've got a couple of runs to go, about four minutes left. So I'm uh, I'm going to skip ahead to that point and uh, we'll then skip some growth states and you'll see what these look like as the crops grow in. I'm pretty pleased with how they look. So, you know, I think it is pretty darn good. I will see you in a bit. But as we go down the last couple of rows, I'm just going to put that picture back up on the screen of um, the previous time I did this. And I'm not sure if it will show because I'm doing the voiceover before I have the picture on the screen. But that field was slightly not square. So it was actually the field that's next to us. Um, and there is a little bit where because the field is not square we're losing the edge of the inner headland tram line and that is something that if you're on um, a very irregular shaped field this is not going to work well so I just wanted to mention that again as we finish up so we're on the penultimate run now at this point you know i'm kind of judging we should be okay we are going to end up with two tram lines next to each other but this should fit pretty well and you know again that, that that's your call if i was doing this myself i'm i'm not sure if i would put two tram lines next to each other or if i would just accept that i'm not gonna have one there it depends whether you're doing this for visual effect or whether you actually want to use the tram lines to run in to do your spraying or fertilizing or whatever um, but yeah, you can see there we are. Well, it's obviously not going to match up quite so well because of the corner, but I think that's pretty darn good. Um, we're then going to need to go back and fill in the gap that we had. So we'll just go do that and then we'll skip some time and you'll see what it looks like. And you'll either agree that, I, that this looks pretty good, which is what I think, considering that, you know, that you have to do a little bit of intervention but not a lot um or you'll think now this is this is rubbish i'm not going to do this and yeah, that, that's your choice All right i have a whole load of fun remembering my clicks to get view control back so what we're going to do is obviously we don't want to mess up the tram line that's there so we need to put in a little bit of thought um but because we're on track two when we lower the cedar we're going to go on to track three which doesn't have a tram line so we'll put that on we will lower down there we go so you can see no tram line and we're just going to plant in this little bit at the end and then we'll be done i can remove that there we go and Let's just finish this off. There we go. Obviously, you know, if you were playing, you'd probably want to roll this or weed it or whatever. This is not about that. This is about making tram lines. So if I run down here and we will jump out of our lovely Blitzfire tractor and put on flight mode and enable flight mode and up we go and you know i i think i think that looks pretty good even without it grown in so you can see at the end of the run so this this one in the middle kind of where the center dot of the screen is this is with the tractor coming down the field and it does lift a little bit early but if you set it to raise late i think you're going to obliterate that in a tram line so it's about a compromise as i said if we i have not installed sleep anywhere 
Uh, okay. Let's turn off that. That was a bit of a noob mistake, wasn't it? We'll just run over to the farmhouse, which happens to be conveniently here. This is one of the reasons I like testing on this plot on Obeleron, is it has a lot of stuff that you might need built in. You know, there's a little, there's a couple of nice little fields. There's a bit of farm yardy space that you can build a yard on, and there's a house. So, it's uh, if you're a regular to the channel, you will know I've done a lot of testing on this bit of this map. Right, and if we enable superhero mode again there you go you can see the what i think are reasonably good tram lines so you can see we've got a bit of a funny there at the start where things kicked in um but overall i think they look pretty good for automated stuff so i'm just going to skip ahead a couple of states so you can see what they look like a little bit later So the weeds kind of spoil the look. I should have turned weeds off, but there you go. I think you can see the effect still. And you know, it, I I think it looks pretty good for something that required us to do a little bit of intervention on the headland and then basically leave it. If this was a big field, then you could do this. You know, pretty pretty much you could leave it to do seventy five percent of it automatically. So there you go. That is how to use course play and proceed together to automate tram lines. If you have found this video useful, please click the like button. Do not smash it. If you smash the like button, you have to buy me a coffee. Um, if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, stick them below. And if you're new to the channel and you find this kind of stuff useful, think about subscribing. And uh, I will see you next time.